what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and today there is no video on astrology there is no video on motivation there is no video on the gita there is no video on any topic but today is a special video uh, there are so many questions which i keep getting about myself which people say i'm not answering in the comments <laughs> All right so here are 15 uh, questions or 15 facts or 15 queries answered by me about me <laughs> so i don't know if uh, some of the questions are there in uh, the mails or the messages in whatsapp which uh, some of you would have sent me but i guess it should be among here all right so if it is not then you can send me i will put it in another list and i will make it again all right some other time All right so the first question asked me oh my god yes see i forgot to say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and yes if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then i guess after listening the answers you will subscribe and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and that's all <laughs> all right so the first question asked to be is how many members do i have in the family all right so i have my father my mother and my elder brother uh, my parents are staying in guwahati india and my elder brother is staying in pune india yes so he's a it engineer there he is married and he's been married for almost 5 years now 30th april is his fifth marriage anniversary and uh, he's not having a kid yet people are pushing him so probably he will in the coming years all right so that's the thing and about my family tradition many people have asked am i from the family of astrologers or psychics or saints no 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 <laughs> there's nobody even nearer to that in fact uh, my family uh, they are not too much religious or spiritual uh, they are they're very really good people i mean my uh, mother's father he was a officer in the indian administrative service uh, and my father also he had retired as the commissioner and secretary of the agriculture department of government of assam uh, which is a small state in the holy land of india for the western audience if somebody is seeing this and my mother she is a housewife and that's all and my brother's wife my bhabhi she is also working in another company yes so now the next question is when did you start learning astrology or when did it all start so the answer is there's no point in time where i can say that okay this was the time it started there was no event or there's no trigger point which said that oh this thing happened in my life and bang on i started no there was no there there was no trigger point like this as i had said in one of my interviews uh, to nicole brainy that uh, i uh, used to think about what's this universe what are all these stars what are all these galaxies and then uh, i used to keep reading books scientific books so many scientific books i used to read uh, when i was very small i used to read a book uh, it was on galaxies and signs and stars and planets when then i saw that sun is not a planet it's a star but then i used to think oh astrology says sun is a planet what the hell is going on <laughs> so i used to uh, keep doing my own research learning about different things learning about the gita i used to read about the quran also and there was a time when i was too much into christianity when i was very young it was around the age of 10 or 11 i guess <laughs> i was in my fourth or fifth standard those days so i used to uh, read books on christianity also but uh, everything was going on a very low pace and from 2008 onwards or rather 2007 onwards these these things became more and more and more and more and more intense and i i wanted to find out who's who's there who's god what is all this religions here so i started searching things uh, more deeply and more strongly and so there is no specific point in time where i started learning astrology so the third question asked to me is what encounters of spirituality have you had so far well personal encounters are not to be shared in public which means there are many people i found i found uh, recently and as my course of 
journey in YouTube that many people are going on saying, oh, I had a Kundalini awakening, I had this awakening, I have that awakening. Well, let me tell you, these things should not be shared in public openly. That doesn't mean you cannot tell, but uh, if you're going on making a video on half an hour of, oh, how it felt when my Kundalini awakened, uh, probably I would not do that because those things are only to be done with the uh, with your guru and those are very uh, private intimate things like uh, you you don't share your private things which you share with your husband or your wife to anybody right that is reserved for some specific people so uh, that is what I have learned that such intimate experiences you can say that you had such an experience that's fine but personally i would not like to share what what uh, i had in detail all right because then um, you are opening the energy of the universe and there are many people who may want to connect with that energy and then if there's some disharmony then me and the, and the other person also can get into trouble yes so let's be safe <laughs> All right, but uh, yes, I have had uh, many experiences spiritually, especially after 2008, 2009 and 2010, of course, when I came to uh, South India to SRM University for my uh, bachelor's, I studied uh, software engineering there, <laughs> 2010 to 2014. And then I got a job in iGate, which was known as Cape Gemini, uh, which is now known as Cape Gemini because those days it was iGate. And then uh, on... 9th December 2014 I got an admit to the University of Gottingen here in Germany where I'm currently doing my masters so by the grace of God everything is going fine and I'm almost uh, at the uh, end of my education so in another two three months probably if God willing then I should be able to finish up with the masters so now so, so there's no specific time where spirituality or all these things are started. So I will make more videos on this about the journey which I have had. So that is a very detailed video. So that the whole thing I can't say here. Yes. So you have to wait for another video. <laughs> all right. So the fourth question is, what is your schedule like? Schedule, schedule. I don't know what's the correct way to say this. So my schedule is as follows. I generally get up at around 4, sometimes 3.45 or 4 or sometimes 4.15, sometimes it becomes 4.30 also, sometimes. Uh, and then after I get up, then I take a bath and I fresh up myself and then I sit to meditate for around 2, 2 and a half hours, minimum 2 and a half hours. So then I will read the scriptures and I will also sing some bhajans in the morning, especially in the Brahma Mura time and then then what nothing <laughs> go to the library and study <laughs> so around uh, eight o'clock uh, i move from here and then i have the beautiful suv library in the university of Gottingen. so there i go and i sit and i study and then uh, around 12 o'clock i eat my lunch there in the library canteen so that's luckily a very good canteen we get vegetarian food there and we also get vegan food there so I generally eat either ways. I mean, either you eat a vegetarian food of the dish or the vegan dish. It's the same for me. And the food is extremely delicious. It's too good. So in three euros, you get a full meal. So that's how uh, my day goes. And then after uh, around five o'clock or six o'clock, then I come back to my home. And then from six to seven, or to 7.30, I will again do some mantras, some mantras in the evening which I chant. And then after 7.30, either I will go and meet somebody or I will do some consultation, which if it is there. So as now my channel is growing, uh, many consultations I am getting. So most of the time uh, in the evening after 7.30 goes in doing consultations, like either audio consultations or I talk to them uh, personally uh, in Skype, of course. And sometimes it has happened one or two times that people have come and met me personally and then we have also discussed. But if there are no consultations, then after 7.30 or 8, I just go and meet some uh, friends and then that's it. And then 9 o'clock, I'm back. Then 9 o'clock, it's out. Lights are out. Wi-Fi off. Everything is off. Everything is out. Nothing doing. 
then you go to sleep and while i am having my lunch or near about that time 12 o'clock 1 o'clock so then i give a call to my mother every day i talk to her once hopefully <laughs> today i have not still yet called so probably i'll call now so that's how the schedule is and on weekends on sunday i don't stay here in gottingen i go to hamburg which is around four or five hours so we have a satsang program there we have a big group of uh, spiritually connected people from india and from germany and from many other places so i go and visit the place and i take a lot of empowerment from there and i come back sunday night itself and then i'm done for the next of the week for the rest of the week it starts again from monday all right so what is the next question <laughs> <laughs> do i have a girlfriend oh my god there is no girlfriend in my life <laughs> i never had a girlfriend i have been single lifelong since birth do i have female friends oh my god i have but the number is very less <laughs> the number is very 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 less in fact um currently i think only only one girl is there who i, I mean if you consider her as a friend so probably sometimes once in a blue moon i just talk to her that too not when i want to talk that too when she messages me i am just like okay let's talk for some time <laughs> so not much uh, female friends so the next question the sixth question is asked do i flirt with girls <laughs> come on man if i would do that then i would have 10 beautiful german girls sitting here and i would be hugging them i would be kissing them embracing them <laughs> look man i'm all alone in this barren land of germany i'm all alone there's nobody oh my god life is so terrible right <laughs> so the answer is no i don't know what flirting is uh, and i also don't know how to flirt and i'm i don't know if i will ever learn it all right so that's the question and uh, that's the answer i mean the seventh question asked is will i ever marry oh yes definitely i will marry why not <laughs> who said you should not marry who said you can't marry right so yes i will be marrying uh, probably in the next coming three years <laughs> hopefully god willing if everything goes fine uh, i may get married the next year or somewhere 2020 or 2021 depending on the situation of my family so now as i'll be finishing my masters uh, my relatives are already pushing where's the girl <laughs> if you don't have a girl we are going to find it for you all right so then i i'm like no i never had any girl so it's you who have to do the job <laughs> as the typical system in india is known as arranged marriage all right so that's the way it's happening so my family members i don't know they are searching it seems <laughs> so if they find some girl good enough i don't know how they judge she will be good or bad so then they will uh, send her photos or contact number and then maybe i'll talk and then if something happens i will let you know by youtube of course <laughs> what's the next question the next question is will i use astrology in my wedding marriage or will i simply depend on god oh god whatever you have given i will accept see this is a very wrong conception suppose you fall sick then you go to a doctor you are not an atheist if you do that yes so if a person is using astrology then it doesn't mean that person is atheist yes so using astrology doesn't make you less spiritual the problem with astrology is sometimes it's not the problem with astrology the problem is with people like us that we because of our laziness we may try to superimpose too much of astrology on ourselves which means if you are not feeling like working then you say oh anyways i know this time i am not destined to get good results right so why should i work so that is not correct that is not good so will i use astrology will i do this kundli matching gun milan and all this yes of course i will do why why not i mean that's the system of parashara which is there so whatever is required as lord krishna says that do your duty yes don't contemplate on the results whatever happens will happen i mean if the uh, the gunas match with the girl it's fine if it doesn't match some other girl will come because we understand yes that whatever is there in your karma that will anyways happen but you have to do your duty yes so 
will i do this gun milan and all this yes i will do even if i don't want to do the family of the girl they may say we want to do then i'm like okay what's the problem let's do it i mean whatever uh, what let's do whatever it takes to uh, make our lives happier right why to take risks unnecessarily so we don't uh, our dependence on god is not reduced if we do this gun milan and all these things yes because in scriptures these things are recommended that you do but again i am not saying that people have to do it all right so i am not terrorizing anybody here that oh if you are not matching horoscope or you are not doing gun milan you are not doing this that then your marriage will not work i am not saying like that but if the question is asked to me that will i do it yes let's do it what's the big deal <laughs> we have been doing for so many people let's do for ourselves also one day <laughs> All right so the next question asked is do i know when will i die i don't know man <laughs> i've never asked this question to any astrologer whoever has seen my horoscope so i don't know <laughs> yeah one astrologer has said that after uh, this point of time he has given me a age that i may leave this planet so probably that's the time <laughs> but i didn't ask that person said himself all right The next question is, what are my hobbies? So I like to play the mridangam very much, and I like to sing uh, different bhajans in the piano which I have. And then cooking is one of my greatest hobbies. So whenever I get a chance, I will never miss it. I will always go and cook something uh, in the kitchen which is there. And sometimes some few girls are there in this uh, in this building who also join in there in the uh, in the kitchen. So I think next Wednesday I'm going to. bake a cake a vegan cake <laughs> with a german girl her name is maraika <laughs> now don't tell me that send her photos man i can't send it <laughs> i know what you're thinking <laughs> all right so these are my hobbies and then as i said most of my time goes in uh, doing meditation doing and then talking to people yes yeah, talking to friends and so many doing consultations making videos for people like you otherwise who, who how will you get all these beautiful videos right <laughs> all right so these are my hobbies the next question is do you feel lonely at times if yes what do you do oh my god yes i always feel lonely <laughs> <laughs> oh well that's that's obvious i mean you are all alone here your family is somewhere else then your friends are there but you don't meet them very often so whole day you sit alone in the library so at times you feel oh my god what's going on am i all alone in this world <laughs> and it's okay to feel like that that's human that's normal so if some of you have been asking me oh i feel very much lonely what's the problem with me na why can't i be happy alone some of you have mailed me like that well it's it's human to feel uh, to not feel that great if you are all alone yeah but if you are feeling terrible when you are lonely you are alone see there's a difference between alone and lonely so suppose you are alone that means you are alone that means nobody is there with you but lonely means you are not feeling good when you are alone yes so some level of loneliness is fine but uh, you should not feel too lonely also that shows that we do not have inner substance inside us yes but at the same time sometimes you may feel lonely so that's okay hold on <laughs> there's no problem but the important thing is not do you feel lonely or not when you are alone the important thing is what you do to get rid of that loneliness yes that is what is important so if you just sit and uh, do wrong things like smoking or gossiping or wasting your time unnecessarily that is not good Yes so the question was asked if i feel lonely yes then uh, sometimes what do i do to mitigate that yes so the answer is very simple i have uh, many uh, of my god brothers god brothers as we say it guru bhai in hindi or in sanskrit which means we uh, have the same guru so i have many god brothers but among them four or five are very prominent i mean we are very 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 closely connected very closely linked and every alternate day i am talking to either one of them so one of them uh, his name is ankit as you know uh, who have who has done a lot of uh, two two three videos i think with me also in the cha- in my channel so he is uh, studying uh, in the university of magdeburg here in germany so i call him up and we discuss something from the scriptures or on astrology something like that or we share our life how things are going and then there's another friend uh, another god brother i mean 
who is in Delhi. Currently, he is doing preparations for UPSC, the IS exams in India, the government civil service exams. So he's another very close, intimate friend of mine who I know from last eight, nine years. So he also, I talk to him in the weekends. And there's another friend uh, who uh, is in Bangalore and I talk to him also very closely. And then there's another godbrother of mine who is in Kolkata. He's a teacher there, amazing person. I talk with him also. And there's another godbrother who I have here in Munich. And then there's another godbrother in US. And then there is another godmother who I have is uh, has done his master's from Denmark Univers University of Aarhus and now he is in Delhi. So he is waiting for his PhD positions in Barcelona and in Berlin. So depending on where he gets admission, he will be coming. So these are the four or five people with whom I keep talking every day. So every day almost half an hour, 45 minutes, one hour I keep talking with them. So suppose today I call somebody, tomorrow I'll call the another, other person. Oh, what's going on? How is life? <laughs> the same boring questions every day. <laughs> How is life? How's everything? <laughs> okay, so uh, they keep me going and they are the ones who will always be messaging me. Oh, what happened? You are uploading videos on this topic. Why are you not uploading on that topic? So sometimes you see that there are some videos I will upload out of nowhere on different uh, topics from the playlist. So it is by their suggestion only that uh, I will upload. So somebody sometimes one of them may say, oh, upload this video. Then I'm like, OK, somebody says, OK, what about this playlist? Then I'm like, OK, whatever you say. So whatever they say, I just do. And they are my best uh, critics and whatever problems are there in my videos like every other channel in YouTube because nobody is perfect. So they keep giving me the very uh, their honest feedbacks and you know, I appreciate it very much and I keep improving and by that slowly, slowly things are happening. Man. <laughs> so uh, and then apart from that, I read the scriptures in the morning and I keep hearing lectures of my gurus. So many gurus I, I have been blessed to have. And then I keep uh, listening to Keetans, so many different uh, spiritual musics and uh, so many uh, this uh, Shiv Tandav Stotram also I keep to keep listening and then Vishnu Sahasranam is there and so many other, so many, there are countless things. So those are the things by which and uh, I sustain myself here. The next question is, when will you give free or discounted readings? Oh my God. See, I used to give free readings or discounted readings, but now I have stopped doing it because the first reason is I don't have time. Yes. The next thing is, I have seen whenever you give free advice to somebody, nobody takes you seriously. And then after two years, after two months or two days, they will again end up calling you for the same problem. Like uh, there was one uh, problem which uh, one person was facing. So then I suggested that person that you do, do, do this. So I didn't charge any money. And then after two months, exactly two months, this person called me back and said, Oh, sir, I'm again having that problem. Can you give the solution? Then I'm like, did you do what I said? And then that person is like, Oh, you told me to do. No, 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 I didn't do. Maybe I will try this time. And I'm like, if you are not going to do what I say, then please don't waste my time. So this is what I have realized. Anything uh, free, anything uh, cheap is not valued. Yes. So uh, earlier I gave another option for my readings, especially the full uh, consultation reading, the 90 minutes reading, the first option that you can pay half the amount uh, first and then take the consultation and then later uh, you can pay me. But now I have stopped that also because there are many people who have cheated me. Uh, they have said that, oh, we will pay you and then from six months, I have to keep asking them, when will you pay, when will you pay, when will you pay? So this is what happens, you see. You want to do good for people, but then people cheat you. So then you have to change yourself, right? Otherwise, people will take advantage of you and people will cheat you. And then at times I've seen people don't value at all anything, whatever you say, if you see it, say it for, if you don't uh, charge anything. And then after uh, I started doing paid consultations, so then now people call me and give me feedback. Yes, sir, whatever you said we did and uh, it worked. So thank you very much. So that's how it is going. So uh, the question was, when will you give free or discounted readings? I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> sir or madam, whoever has asked this question, I'm sorry. Uh, I will not be doing it anymore because I'm not having time because so many consultations I'm doing these days. 
and i have to manage my studies also and my my spiritual life is there and then i have to make videos answer comments for people like you and then make list of these questions you see <laughs> and i have to do live sessions also which i do in the weekend so i am having very less time and yeah some people may keep messaging me in whatsapp or mailing me so i do not have the time to reply to them unfortunately that happens as your channel keeps growing and that was anticipated by me by me from before also the next question 13th do i watch movies <laughs> do i drink or do i party party time <laughs> no i don't watch movies i have stopped watching movies since 2010 and since then i think barely one or two movies i have seen barely i mean that too it's like rarely and that too not because i wanted to watch it but when i go home then my family members are like oh we need to watch sometimes my when my brother is there so he will say we will go to watch that movie then i am like okay <laughs> and drinking no no drinking shinking <laughs> party no party man <laughs> uh the la- the next question is is my family spiritual oh no 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 they are not spiritual uh, not not that much at least yeah my uh, i have some members in my family uh, my mother's uh, mother she has two sisters so one of them is a bit spiritual but the others i have lost hope <laughs> all right and the last question is what what is your what's the goal of your life what is that which motivates you to get up in the morning well the answer is very simple my goal as of now for eternity <laughs> is to spread spiritual knowledge divine knowledge divine wisdom which i have accumulated from last 10 15 years by my own understanding of the scriptures and by meeting different gurus in south india especially and visiting so many holy places so many temples and then now when i'm sitting here uh, i'm with the pakistanis sometimes here behind there's one building it's known as mahatma gandhi house so i go there and i discuss about the quran and they also tell me different beautiful things which are there in the quran and i've come to know a lot about the prophets and so many other things like of of the christians yes the bible and then so many saints which have been there in the biblical tradition so uh and some knowledge i have gathered about sikhism also so these these religion these religions i never knew much but after coming here by god's grace uh, so many of my pakistani friends they have been teaching me so much about islam and now i have learned so many things about islam so maybe someday we will make a video on islam also <laughs> all right okay so those are the 15 questions which were frequently asked to me and today finally i have got the time to answer so if you have any other questions about me and you want me to answer them then in some other video i'll be answering them all right and there are many uh, guests who will be likely coming uh, this coming week uh, i am shooting a video with james braha so he is one of the very famous astrologers so we have not discuss, uh, decided on the topic yet but we will dis- decide on it very soon and then there are so many other people who are also coming i'll not take the names let it be a surprise so in the coming 2 3 months you will see uh, many uh, people coming okay so heidi vandenberg has also given confirmation that beginning of april we'll be doing one video all right and nitin kashyap ji is also there hopefully we will do a video together very soon all right so there you go it's been a long video 15 questions frequently asked to me and finally answered by me today yeah all right so that is it for my side if you have any other questions queries or comments then please let me know in the comment section okay until next time oh yes if you're new then please subscribe <laughs> and if you want a consultation then approach me to my website the link is there in the description below okay until next time bye bye see you Thank you.